If you've got green cloudy water and you can only see an inch or two into it, a bog filter is going to help you go from something like this to something like this. So if you add a bog filter to an existing pond, how long does it take to get results? And if you build a new pond with a bog filter, what can you expect? If you don't already know me, my name is Kev and the aim of my channel is to help people build and maintain ponds without spending a fortune. If that sounds like something that interests you, you might like to subscribe and visit my website ozponds.com. Most of us want to see our fish and achieving clear water is actually really easy. My go-to method for guaranteed results is always a bog filter. A bog filter works by moving water up through rock and pebble. The rock and pebble provide a home to bacteria and beneficial microorganisms that will purify your water, much like nature has been doing for millions of years. A bog filter can also grow plants, and plants are another wonderful filter. They're able to strip out nutrients that would otherwise be consumed by algae. If you add a properly sized bog filter to an existing pond with green water, you can expect to see results within a week or two. Now in my experience, a bog filter will clear up green water really fast, but it won't clear up muddy water. If you have muddy water and a decent filtration system, you can use a flocculant to clear it up really quick. It'll usually take a few days. I'll put a link to pond flocculants in the description. It also won't clear up brown tinted water. That's usually caused due to the breakdown of leaf material or wood inside the pond. Overfeeding can also stain the water brown. I personally don't mind the dark brown tannin color, but if it bothers you, you can try adding carbon to your filtration system. The carbon will become saturated over time, so once the tannins return, you'll need to throw away the old carbon and replace with new carbon. And if the brown is caused by overfeeding, well, simply stop overfeeding. Now, over time, the bog filter will help control string or hair algae, but that's going to take a much longer time. You can help it along by helping the pond mature quicker and establishing a robust food chain. I spoke about that in a recent video and I'll put a link to that in the description. But basically a properly sized bog filter should keep your water transparent so that you can see the fish and it's going to keep the water safe for the fish. So what is the appropriate size for a bog filter? For a wildlife pond, 5% is fine. A pond with small fish, 10% larger fish 15 to 20% and a pond that you plan on swimming in 25%. I personally like to base my calculations on the volume of the pond, but you can also use the square footage or meterage if you prefer. I also like to aim for a flow rate that's around six times the volume of the bog. For example, a 100 litre bog filter would have a 600 litre per hour pump. There is a PDF on the website that has all these numbers and other formulas that I use when building my ponds, if you're interested. There's also plenty of videos that I've made showing how I've constructed all the different sized and shaped bog filters for my own ponds. Big and small, just have a scroll through the previous uploads if you're interested. So if you add a bog filter to your existing pond with green water, you should have clear water in around two weeks. It really does happen that quick, at least in my experience and many other people that have provided feedback. It is worth noting that the green water isn't bad for your fish. This water is full of life, which is free food for the fish. It also makes it really hard for predators to find them. Fish breeders love this. But I love seeing the fish and the clear clean water. So what can you expect if you build a pond from the very start with a bog filter? Well, due to all the rock and pebbles inside the filter and often the pond, depending on what type of pond you build, but still the rock and pebble inside the bog filter will most likely make your water go muddy. So use a flocculent to clear that up. If you can drain away and wash off all the muddy water 
and that will help reduce string and hair algae problems. But nine times out of 10, this sort of algae is coming for the pond and especially the bog filter. But the water should remain clear and the algae will slowly get starved out as the pond matures and the ecosystem becomes more diverse with plants, bacteria, tiny critters, and even good forms of algae and other biofilms. I've tried and I continue trying different methods of filtration, and I'm convinced a bog is still hands down the most easy to build yourself and maintain. As one subscriber once wrote, once you go bog, you never go back. Someone should put that on a t-shirt or a bumper sticker, maybe a hat. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If so, go ahead and tickle the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. See ya.